Hello everyone, this is David Smith. I'm at the Develop Conference in Brighton and I have with me today uh, Tim Kloss, who is the CTO at uh, IdeaWorks. Uh, Tim, please will you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Tim Kloss. I'm the CTO at IdeaWorks 3D Limited and uh, we're a company um, based in Notting Hill, London. And tell us a little bit more about what IdeaWorks uh, does, Tim. So IdeaWorks has been around uh, for about 12 years, actually, and uh, we operate as two separate divisions. One is a game studio called IdeaWorks Game Studio, uh, and they focus on building real sort of high-end AAA content for mobile devices and other types of embedded devices like smart TVs. And the other half of the company is called our trades as Marmalade, uh, and they're focused on making a cross-platform um, apps and games SDK called the Marmalade SDK, which allows people to build the game once and take it across all the smartphone platforms and also platforms like desktop and smart TV. Uh, now, I think you are the, the chief technical officer. Tell us what a, a chief technical officer does at IdeaWorks and, and maybe also how you came to be working at the company. Sure. So um, I joined the company in 2004, uh, originally as a lead programmer to work on a game called System Rush for uh, a device called the Nokia Engage, which was one of the first sort of real gaming optimized smartphones. And uh, about two years later, I took up the CTO role to, uh, I guess, have a broader role in looking after the company's technology and technology strategy. And this was about the same time as we were starting to build the Marmalade SDK and really think about productizing that and taking that um, to market. And that's really the bulk of my time now is looking after um, our technology agenda and the direction of my latest SDK and making sure that it can be the most um, successful solution comes in its field. And what were you doing before IdeaWorks? So before IdeaWorks, um, well, I, I studied mathematics at university and uh, then I'd had a history in games because I used to write games when I was still at school for platforms like the Spectrum. Uh, so that was an easy thing for me to come back into and very much enjoyed <clears throat> uh, working in Cambridge, um, building games for PlayStation 1 and PC. Uh, and then I worked as a freelance game programmer, um, again, mainly focused on PlayStation, PC, and Xbox for several years, and eventually kind of found IdeaWorks in about 2004, and they seem to be operating in a, in a very new and exciting space, which was mobile. Fantastic. And uh, why would you say IdeaWorks is a, a great place to work? So um, IdeaWorks is a great place to work because, A, the industry itself is enormously exciting. Uh, I mean, we've been kind of, I think it's fair to say, kind of ahead of our time for the last few years, but the the kind of industry is really caught up with what we're focusing on, which is which is um, the power of smartphone platforms and the ability to deliver really rich apps and games on those platforms. So we're in a really exciting space at a really exciting time with great technology and a track record of really being a, a, an industry leader. So we're starting to work very closely with some of the big companies like Google, RIM, uh, Nokia, Intel. Um, and at the same time, and because we're still aligned to games, we still kind of have that creative angle. So we're not a kind of R&D company where guys kind of sit around in white suits. Uh, we're, you know, we've, we've got this game studio, which we're aligned with, but who are kind of at the cutting edge of actually building real games and delivering them. So um, you know, there's a great kind of mix there. And uh, uh, Notting Hill sounds a, a nice uh, location to have your, your offices. Why, why would you say that um, uh, Notting Hill is, is, a, is a good place to, to live and to work? Um, well, obviously, it's it's uh, close to central London, so you've got you know everything uh, that's there in London is available. It's also great from a from a business perspective. A lot of the companies we work with um, have bases either in and around London, um, and it's a great location because uh, you know if you come into any of the mainline stations, you can probably cycle to our office, which a lot of people do. Um, you know, in the summer, you can come out of the office and walk across the Kensington Gardens and have your have your lunch in the sun. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a great location, and and we've also got a base that we're building up in San Francisco. Uh, currently, we have two people based there, but we're looking to grow that um, to about four or five by the end of 2011, and then continue to grow that in 2012. Very good. And finally, what advice would you give uh, a job seeker looking to apply for a, a job with IdeaWorks? Um, I guess probably much the same as, as, as anyone else, which, which is that, I mean, make sure, well, if it's a, on the engineering side, we look for people with, with really strong core skills so because uh, you know we have a gaming side to our company, but it's not all about games, there's, there's a real kind of strong technology core to what we do. We do look for people who've got strong um, you know, a degree in, in mathematics or computer science 
or one of the related sciences and and also some real demonstration of of ability and interest outside of their coursework so <clears throat> you know a portfolio that's purely based on projects that are done within your course isn't to be honest going to get us excited but if you've done something however small however esoteric on your own then that's gold dust to be honest and especially in in you know today's kind of app store economy where you can you can build a facebook game and, and put it up yourself or build a, an android app and put it up on android market without any any uh, cost investment then you know we're really looking to people to do that extra step as part of their portfolio and application great advice uh, tim kloss cto at idea thank you very much thank you